When you thought EPA was going after truck drivers and truck shops for deleted trucks, no, they're not. There's a software out there that they're going after. Hopefully, you got nothing to do with this. Stay tuned. What's going on with the truckers? So this is the defeat device scandal that's going on in semi-trucks right now. So here's the thing. For anyone that deletes their trucks or does not, I know deleting your truck is a very touchy subject and super, super on the radar with the EPA. So here's my question to you, comment down below, regardless of that, regardless if you have deleted your truck or not, do you think the DEF, DPF filter systems and the EGR systems are good for your semi trucks? or bad for them, what have your experiences been? Because mine have been shitty. My DPF always went out, always kept me in the shop. I mean, it was just a hunk of junk, and for me, it just kept me from trucking. But that's my opinion. What's yours? I've interviewed plenty of mother truckers that have been outlaws and deleting everything under the sun, and I had to blur out everything. A little bit, because uh, this is uh, definitely looking <laughs> a little clean. <laughs> Little clean, clean. Uh, the comments down below are like, I love it, but. <laughs> but. But here is what the scandal is today that the EPA is going after. So quick history lesson. So DPF was introduced in 2007 and DEF was introduced in 2010. And honestly, by 2010, I would say that was the death of real trucking. We're talking about just balls to the wall, black smoke, and just when people really enjoyed trucking. <laughs> Or we can talk about what the EPA calls is a scandal that these trucking shops are doing. We have to go back to the V-Dub scandal that happened in 2017. Basically what they were talking about then was they're saying that V-Dub had some kind of emissions uh, software that was uh, doing something to the computer systems and what that system was was called a defeat device they got charged over a billion dollars for that that when run under a dyno or when being tested it knows it is so it puts all the emissions back on but when you're on the road daily driving it turns off all the emissions so they got caught up with that and that's pretty much what happened with these shops that the EPAs are going after. So the EPA fined two companies in Iowa and Nebraska for this exact thing. Midwest Truck Parts LLC in Iowa had to pay $75,000. And an industrial machinery distribution company in Nebraska had to pay over $50,000. So I'm just letting you guys know this information so that if you are a shop or a truck driver thinking about doing something like this, maybe think twice, especially because the EPA is crushing down on this. But comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it's worth it or not. I mean, I've had subscribers say that it's not worth it because when their truck breaks down, now they have to find a shop that will work with a deleted truck and hopefully a shop that they trust that won't uh, bust their ass to the EPA. So... Let me know what you guys think, but this is what's going on. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for more trucking news.